Okay, so now we're on to learning target 1.9. I can define an isotope and write an isotope symbol. So the first thing we need to do is to define an isotope. So an isotope is one of two or more atoms having the same amount of protons but differing or different amounts of neutrons. So one of two or more atoms having the same amount of protons but different amount of neutrons. So the important thing to realize here is that we are talking about the same amount of protons. And because we're calling the same amount of protons, we are essentially talking about the same atom. So an example of this would be carbon-14 and carbon-12. These are two isotopes of each other. Carbon-12 has six protons. six neutrons. Carbon-14 has also has six protons because we know it's carbon, but it has eight. Let me get rid of this. Eight neutrons. So the difference arises in how many neutrons they have. Carbon-12 has 6. Carbon-14 has 8. So that helped us answer the first part of this learning target, which was being able to define an isotope. The second part of this is writing an isotope symbol. So there's a specific way that we write the symbols for these. So let me show you how we would do these. Let's consider the isotope uranium-235. So uranium, the symbol for uranium is U. So I'm going to write the symbol right there. So there's my U. What goes in the lower left-hand corner is the atomic number. So the atomic number for uranium is 92. So that is where I write the atomic number. In the top corner goes the mass. So we're talking about uranium-235, so I'm going to write the mass, which is 235. So that is where the mass goes. So that is how we write an isotope symbol, right there. So let's try a couple for carbon-14 and carbon-12 real quick. So for carbon-12, we're going to have carbon with a 6 and a 12. And for carbon-14, we'll have carbon with a 6, but this time a 14. So there are two more examples of isotope symbols. So taking what we just learned, are reviewed. Let's do this individual example. A neutral atom has not are eight protons and ten neutrons in its nucleus. Below, I'll write the isotope symbol for this element. So pause the video here, try it, and then resume the video and check your answer. So the important thing to realize is that this atom has eight protons. That instantly tells us the atom. Since it has eight protons, that means it has an atomic number of eight. So if we look up at the periodic table, we know that this atom is oxygen. The symbol for oxygen is O, and we know that it has eight protons, which means the atomic number is eight, which means we write that right at the bottom left of the symbol. The next thing is to realize what do we write for the mass. So the mass is just equals protons 
plus neutrons. So mass equals protons plus neutrons. We know the protons, 8. And we know our neutrons are 10, which gives us a total mass of 18. And that is written right there. So our final isotope symbol is right here. So whatever circle in blue, if you don't have that, try it again. If you do, then congratulations.